So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can market your business for under $1,000. But before we get started, if you like business, you like marketing, you like entrepreneurship, don't forget to subscribe and then hit the little bell button and you'll get more videos like this. So let's jump into it. What's the first thing you could do to market yourself for under $1,000? So if, I, if I'm thinking, if I'm starting out, let's say I'm coming out of college, maybe I learned design, maybe I started to learn marketing. These are very marketable skills. These are skills that people need. And so what I would do is, I would offer to work for free. It seems like a very, like, uh, why would I work for free? But look, if you don't have skills in the beginning, like maybe you've learned reading textbooks, passing quizzes, passing tests, things like that. There's a difference. But when you go into the real world, you're gonna make mistakes and you're gonna pick up real world experience. So when you don't have that, it's kind of like a cash 22 situation. Like people aren't gonna hire you because you don't have any experience. So what's gonna happen is you offer, hey, look, I love what you're doing, I love what you're all about, I love your business, I, I just, I love everything you stand for. I love to work for free for a month or two, let me know what you think, and then what happens is, a lot of times people are gonna say, yes, absolutely, you can work for free, you can be an intern. Once they start to see the value of your work, then they're gonna to start to pay you, okay? That's a very easy way to get started. This is basically free, right? You're, you're giving your time, and here's the thing. When you're starting in the beginning, let's say you're 21 years old, what you have an abundance of is time. You have so much, you have all the time in the world, you have time ahead of you. Now, when you're getting older, you don't have as much time, you have more obligations, and so that's when you can start to charge more, right? But when you're starting out, it's totally okay. And by the way, maybe you're in your 40s or 50s and you're starting in a new career. It might make sense to work for free because you, you're starting from chapter one again, and that's totally okay. And I think you have to take your ego out of the picture, out of the equation, and make life a lot easier. Now, another way to market kind of for under $1,000, Look at what people are saying there on social media. Let's say you have a dog collar product and you look at Twitter, you look at your competitors. What are people saying about the competitors? What are they saying that's not good about the competitors? How can you actually take what other people are saying and use that in your marketing messaging and reach out to people? You can use any type of sales technique saying, hey, we do these things that other people are complaining about. We solve all these problems. Would you be interested in giving some feedback around what we got going on? Uh, you can also do the same thing with Amazon too. You could go to Amazon, you could go to the review section, see what people are saying about the competitors, all the negative things, figure out how you can iterate on that, figure out how you can create craft messaging around that, and then you can reach out to people for free, right? You can find people's emails, you can use a tool like hunter.io, there's a lot of different find email tools out there, and you can find these people's emails, and you can reach out to them, establish a relationship, find out what they're interested in. I would even go to their Twitter, their LinkedIn, their Facebook, find out what they're interested in, and then touch upon that and then say, hey, look, also would you be interested in this feedback, right? Keep it very simple, personalize it just a little bit and then reach out to them, see if they'd be interested in helping you out, okay? So the other thing I'm gonna say too is when you think about marketing your business, there are so many different power-ups out there in terms of books that you can learn from, but there's so many podcasts too. One of the secret weapons, you can listen to podcasts with your competitors. They'll reveal their numbers, how they do marketing, how they do sales, how they got their first customers. And by the way, check out the Growth Everywhere podcast. I've interviewed over 300 entrepreneurs and I talk about the numbers. Tell me the numbers, tell me your struggles, tell me what you did for marketing, tell me what's working today, tell me your favorite book. All these things are power-ups to me, so that's why I ask these questions. And I, I, I get the advantage from being able to learn from other people. So a lot of this is like learning from other people, a lot of this is working for free, a lot of this is sales outreach, but but this is what you gotta do in the beginning. When you don't have experience, reach out to people, work for free, okay, and, and don't give up, that's the thing. If you're doing the same thing over and over, that's a mistake, but if you're learning from it, you're doing the right thing. So by the way, guys, let me know what you plan to do in terms of marketing your business for $1,000. Let me know what your business is in the comments, and don't forget to check out the next video, and we'll see you tomorrow.